In the depths of our planet's forests, grasslands, and even our backyards, roams an animal whose presence is as ancient as it is controversial. The wild boar, also known as Suscrofa, is a creature of immense adaptability and resilience. The tale of the wild boar begins millions of years ago, evolving from early suids or primitive boars in Southeast Asia. With over a dozen subspecies, they've conquered diverse habitats across Eurasia and North Africa. Its body is covered in a coat of coarse, bristly fur, which ranges from dark gray to brown and black, providing both camouflage and protection from the elements. This fur is a testament to the wild boar's ability to thrive in diverse environments, from dense woodlands to open fields. The piglets, whose fur bears a distinct contrast to their elders, marked with lighter, almost playful stripes along their backs, these markings serve as a natural camouflage in the dappled light of the forest. Yet, as they grow, these stripes fade, and the piglet's fur darkens, blending into the more somber tones of the adult boar's coat. A key feature of the wild boar, and one that is crucial to its survival, is its tusks. These are not merely adornments, but vital tools. The lower canine teeth grow continuously, curving into tusks that the boars sharpen against their upper canines. Being adaptable, they inhabit a variety of ecosystems, including deciduous and mixed forests, marshlands, and agricultural areas. Forming a social hierarchy, these familial groups known as sounders are the cornerstone of wild boar society. Comprising primarily of females and their offspring, these units weave through the forest, a testament to the communal nature of their existence. In contrast, the adult males, the solitary sentinels of their kind, tread a lonelier path. These boars, though often seen alone, may come together in loose associations, a brotherhood of sorts during the quiet times outside the fervor of the breeding season. Though not bound tightly by the concept of territory, wild boars maintain a keen sense of domain through their home ranges. It's within these bounds that the drama of life unfolds, marked by the scent and sound that permeate the air, signaling presence, status, and intent. Communication is a symphony of grunts, squeals, and nuanced vocalizations, each note carrying meaning. From the tender interactions between a sow and her piglets to the assertive calls of a dominant boar, their language is as rich as the forest itself. As the seasons turn and the chill of winter approaches, the forest becomes a stage for the age-old dance of attraction and competition. In the heart of the sounder, life begins anew with the birth of piglets. The future of the sounder is secured through the sow's remarkable fecundity and their ability to bring forth new generations ensuring the continuity of their lineage. A single sow, the matriarch of her brood, can give birth to one, sometimes two litters per year. Each litter is a small miracle, numbering on average between four to six piglets. Yet in times of abundance, when the forest floor is rich with sustenance, a sow might welcome into the world a litter of 10 or more. Weighing from 130 to 300 kilograms with size of 90 to 200 centimeters in length, wild boars pervade the entirety of the European continent. From the Mediterranean regions to Scandinavia, they are also common in the vast forested areas and steppes of Russia and Ukraine extending towards the Ural Mountains, which serve as a geographical boundary with Asia. In Asia, their range extends into the Middle East and China, where they are found in a wide range of environments, from the southern tropical regions to the temperate northern areas, and extends into the Korean Peninsula and Japan, also including countries like Turkey, where they inhabit the Anatolian Peninsula and the coastal regions. They are also present in the dense tropical forests of Southeast Asia, including countries like Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Lastly, being native to North Africa, their native range is primarily restricted to the northern regions, including countries along the Mediterranean coast, such as Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, 
and Egypt's Nile Delta. In their original environment, they contribute a lot to nature. Their omnivorous diet includes a wide variety of plant and animal matter, allowing them to adapt to available resources in different habitats. Wild boars are known for their rooting behavior, where they use their snouts to dig into the soil in search of food such as roots, tubers, and invertebrates. This rooting can lead to significant soil disturbance, which might seem destructive, but has the effect of aerating the soil, thus improving soil health by increasing oxygen penetration, enhancing water infiltration, and facilitating the decomposition of organic matter. Their actions also result in promoting the mixing of soil layers, which can enhance nutrient cycling. By bringing deeper soil layers to the surface and burying organic matter, wild boars help in the breakdown and redistribution of nutrients, potentially benefiting plant growth. When they start foraging, wild boars consume a variety of plant materials, including seeds and fruits. Through their feces, they can disperse these seeds over wide areas, aiding in plant regeneration and the spread of various species. This role is particularly crucial in forested ecosystems, where seed dispersal is vital for the continuation of diverse plant species and aid in forest regeneration. Due to their significance, they've made a mark in the culture of certain areas of the world. In many European mythologies, the wild boar symbolizes strength, ferocity, and courage. In Celtic mythology, the boar was sacred and symbolized war and warrior prowess. There are also boar figures in the tale of the Caledonian boar in Greek mythology, where it was sent by Artemis to ravage the land of Caledon as punishment, leading to a famous hunt involving many heroes. In Norse mythology, the wild boar also plays a role as well where it is associated with the gods Freyr and Freya and is a symbol of fertility and prosperity. The boars Gullenbursti and Hildisvini are notable examples representing protection and fierce companionship in battles. These wild boars made a mark in Asia too. In Chinese culture, the boar or pig is one of the 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac, associated with traits such as honesty, generosity, and determination. It symbolizes wealth, good fortune, and prosperity. Whereas in Japan, the boar is admired for its bravery and strength. The boar is also part of the Japanese zodiac and is celebrated during the new year for its determination and resolve to push forward. However, in other regions, things turned out differently for these wild boars. While being native to Europe, Asia, and North Africa, wild boars have also been introduced to North and South America, Oceania, and other parts of the world, either accidentally or for hunting purposes. In the United States, wild boars were introduced by European settlers for hunting purposes and have established populations in many states, particularly in the southern regions such as Texas, Florida, and California. Additionally, feral pigs, descendants of escaped domestic pigs that have interbred with introduced wild boars, are widespread and considered invasive. The population of wild boars is also growing in some parts of Canada, primarily due to escapes from farms and intentional releases. Saskatchewan, Alberta, and other provinces have reported sightings and environmental impacts. South America, Australia, and New Zealand have had sightings of these wild boars, bringing destruction to local flora and fauna and agricultural farmlands as well. Wild boars thrive in the dense canopies of the forest. The forest floor offers a banquet of roots, tubers, and insects unearthed by their powerful snouts. It's here in the shelter of ancient trees that the wild boar's story unfolds. But their domain doesn't end at the forest's edge. Wetlands and marshes provide a lush retreat, where water and mud wallows are never in short supply. These wet habitats are crucial offering both sustenance and sanctuary. Even the expansive grasslands have become a stage for the wild boar's daily dramas. Here, amidst the tall grasses, they find not only food, but also a vast stage for their social lives, played out under the open sky. While humans encroach on their territories, 
these intrepid explorers venture into agricultural lands, adapting once again to the changing face of their world. In the United States, the scale of damage caused by wild boars has been extensive to a wide range of crops, including corn, wheat, soybeans, and rice. They also affect vegetable and melon farms, leading to significant yield losses. They not only consume crops, but also trample them and damage the soil, leading to compelling crop destruction. The USDA estimates that wild boars cause more than $1.5 billion in agricultural damages each year in the U.S. Whereas in Europe, wild boars devastated the wine-producing regions greatly, mainly in France and Germany, affecting grape yield and quality. In France alone, wild boars are believed to cause approximately $35 million in agricultural damage each year. Going to Australia, feral pigs, including wild boar descendants, damage a variety of crops such as sugarcane, fruits, and vegetables. They also pose a threat to livestock, preying on lambs and causing soil erosion that affects pasture quality. Estimates have suggested that the cost of feral pig damage to the Australian agricultural sector could be up to 100 million Australian dollars annually, though this figure could vary widely with changing conditions over time. While in Japan, wild boars have become significant pests in rural and agricultural areas, damaging rice paddies and vegetable plots and causing accidents on roads. As human settlements push deeper into the dense forests of Japan, the ancient boundaries that once separated villages from the wild realms of the boar begin to fade. This encroachment ignites a growing number of encounters between humans and these formidable creatures. Compounding the issue is Japan's declining rural population, with fewer individuals available to stand guard over the paddies and fields. Traditional methods of wildlife management are becoming increasingly untenable, leaving the land and its bounty at the mercy of the boar's insatiable appetite. It is estimated that Japan incurs around 23 billion yen, or approximately $210 million loss annually. As the numbers of wild boars surge, their impact transcends the boundaries of rural farmland, reaching deep into the heart of urban landscapes. These creatures, driven by an insatiable quest for sustenance, venture into cities and suburbs, where they become unwitting architects of chaos. They disrupt the urban tapestry, leaving a trail of destruction in their way. Parks, gardens, and meticulously maintained green spaces fall victim to their foraging, as they uproot plants and burrow through the earth, eroding the beauty of communal spaces. Even the very foundations of our architectural heritage are not spared, as these wild invaders challenge the integrity of structures with their powerful snouts and sheer mass. As they roam the streets and alleys, they inadvertently become symbols of the growing discord between nature and civilization, urging us to reflect on the delicate balance we must maintain in our coexistence with the wild. How can we eradicate them? In response to the escalating challenges posed by the wild boar invasion, a renewed interest in hunting has emerged as a pivotal strategy in the quest to regulate their burgeoning populations. This ancient practice, once a means of survival and a rite of passage, has now been rekindled as a necessary measure of environmental stewardship. Hunters, equipped with a deep understanding of the land and its creatures, step into the wilderness not merely as pursuers but as guardians, seeking to restore balance to ecosystems strained under the weight of unchecked wild boar numbers. Through regulated hunting, communities are forging a path toward coexistence, aiming to protect the delicate tapestry of biodiversity that wild boars, in their abundance, threaten to unravel. While hunting stands as one of the more effective strategies in curbing the burgeoning wild boar population, it carries unintended consequences. The very act of pursuit instills a deep-seated wariness in these intelligent creatures, teaching them to evade human presence with even greater cunning. This adaptive behavior leads not to a decrease, but a dispersion of their numbers, as wild boars retreat into new territories, expanding their footprint across the landscape. 
Such shifts challenge the straightforward narrative of control, revealing the complex dance of cause and effect that unfolds when humans intervene in the natural world. In the quest to harmonize the coexistence between humans and the proliferating wild boar populations, hunters and conservationists have turned to the vanguard of technology. This fusion of tradition and innovation has significantly enhanced the efficacy of their endeavors to regulate the numbers of these adaptable creatures. Embracing the precision of modern science, select wild boars are adorned with GPS collars, transforming them into beacons that cast light on the mysteries of their wanderings. This technology provides a window into the lives of these elusive beings, charting their journeys across diverse landscapes. The data harvested from these collars unveils intricate patterns of movement, habitat preference, and the intersections of their paths with human domains, offering invaluable insights that inform management strategies and mitigate conflicts. The skies, too, have become an arena for technological surveillance, with drones soaring above the canopy to extend the gaze of those who steward the land. These unmanned aerial vehicles offer a bird's eye view of the terrain, capturing the extent of wild boar activity and the impact they leave in their wake. Through aerial reconnaissance, areas once shrouded by inaccessibility are revealed, allowing for a comprehensive assessment of wild boar populations and the damages they inflict upon both natural and cultivated lands. Some farmers opt for live trapping emerges as a pivotal strategy in controlling burgeoning wild boar populations. This method, characterized by its compassion and precision, offers a viable solution in locales where traditional hunting may not be suitable or as an adjunct to existing efforts. Crafted with care, the traps are designed to safely capture wild boars, minimizing stress and harm. Once secured, these creatures are treated with the utmost respect, undergoing a process of humane euthanasia administered by professionals. This approach not only aids in mitigating the wild boar's impact on ecosystems and human livelihoods, but also underscores a commitment to ethical wildlife management. Employed judiciously across varied terrains, from the dense underbrush of forests to the outskirts of urban expanses, live trapping stands as a testament to the thoughtful intersection of human ingenuity and stewardship of the natural world. With automated trapping systems, farmers can enhance the efficiency and humaneness of trapping efforts. These systems use motion sensors or cameras to detect when wild boars enter a trap and can automatically close the trap doors. Some systems are equipped with remote alerting features, allowing managers to monitor traps in real time and respond promptly, reducing the stress on trapped animals and improving welfare. Notifications are sent in real time, enabling a swift response. This not only ensures the well-being of the captured animals by minimizing their time in confinement, but also enhances the overall efficacy of the trapping process. Among the vanguard of wildlife management tools, certain brands have distinguished themselves through innovation and efficacy in addressing the challenge of wild boar management. Pig Brig trap systems stand out for their remarkable blend of portability and efficiency. Designed with the modern land manager in mind, these systems boast an ingenious multi-catch capability, allowing for the humane capture of multiple wild boars simultaneously. Their ease of transport ensures that even the most remote or challenging terrains can be managed effectively. In the realm of surveillance and precision trapping, the Hog Eye camera system emerges as a technological marvel. This system pairs a robust corral trap with an advanced camera setup, enabling meticulous monitoring of wild boar movements. The inclusion of night vision technology ensures that the nocturnal activities of these elusive creatures are captured, guaranteeing successful captures even under the cloak of darkness. Echoing this blend of innovation and effectiveness, the Boar Buster system presents a compelling alternative. With its 24-7 motion sensor, landowners are kept in the loop with real-time alerts, ensuring they are always one step ahead of the incoming sounders. 
The system's unique suspended corral design offers unparalleled versatility, allowing wild boars to enter from any direction. This feature is particularly advantageous for capturing large sounders, making the boar buster an ideal choice for comprehensive wild boar management. However, despite the strides made with automated trapping systems in managing wild boar populations, challenges persist, notably in the unintended capture of non-target species.